why Loglo really blew up. People notice that we care about our customers, but it's also the factor of it's controversial. We build our cars controversial. There's gonna be people that either love it, or people that hate it. People love Underglow because, you know, they see that it's evolving. It's actually a good product. And there's people that have that stigma behind Underglow where it's cheap and there's no such thing as a good Underglow kit, I guess. But it also comes down to how we build our cars. We rock right. ESRs. We're rocking uh, wide body kits. We're rocking bags, you know? I hate to say build something for like clout, but like you gotta show your worth. If you have a passion towards something and you're building your car to be a show car right. and you post about it, people are going to be interested and that's how you're going to get the organic followers and likes. Welcome back to another episode of the Street Alpha Podcast. I'm your host, Tooks, and we have another episode down here in Tennessee and we're out here for a big car event that lasts a whole week. Today we have uh, a big influence in the car community, right? Um, and if you guys have ever seen those cool lights that are under your car, I've had them on my car. If you guys watch my content, you know, I've had underglow on my car, but it wasn't obviously low glows underglow. Um, it was the Amazon brand. But we're gonna talk about why you should not be using the Amazon brand low glow, right? Or underglow right. on your car. And why this brand is as big as it is and why um, most people want to have this on their car. So today we have Jordan, who is now the official owner of Loglo Shop, right? Man, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, yes, yeah. I am. We, we actually filmed this before and now we're back. <laughs> <laughs> We're here in Gatlinburg. If you've never been to Gatlinburg, there is something called the Gatlinburg curse. Yeah. So something where it's something always goes wrong and it happens either throughout the week or if you're lucky, it just happens once. Right. Yeah, it's happened twice. So um, <laughs> you guys know that my wheels are messed up. I'm still waiting to get those uh, set up. And then uh, we recorded this car shut off and then we lost all our uh, video. Yeah. So we're back. Yeah, we're I'm, back. I mean, the Gatlinburg <laughs> curse, it got uh, Aaron and I when we hopped on our flight and we woke up two in the morning. Uh, to make it and the plane had a malfunction so we all had a deep board and i missed my connecting flight so we were we were all over the dang country trying to make it here but hey we made it you know safe yeah, and sound that's all all that matters <laughs> i don't understand what it is it's crazy all right so let's uh let's switch gears here all right so we had the conversation before it was a fantastic conversation yeah it's great but we can have a much better one right even better just gotta stay positive so um let's talk about like how this all started because an underglow company being this big and turning into a, a, a huge thing and making a lot of money and so on. Um, it's kind of bizarre, honestly. So can you talk about how that started? It's not like more of like a when, but a why right. it started. That's that's the main reason. You know, when you think of underglow, like what do you think? <laughs> uh, well, Fast and Furious is what I thought about. You know, when I think of underglow and I think a lot of people, when they think of the word underglow, uh -huh. um, you know, even there's a podcast, you know, interviewing people saying, right. is underglow a mod? And everyone's like, no, nope, no. Nope. It's like, well, this is what they're thinking. And this yeah. is what a lot of people are thinking when I say the word underglow is no coverage, cheap, Amazon, difficulty wiring, and people unsatisfied with spending their hard earned money and their time installing the kit, and not being satisfied with it. Right. You know, that was something where it ne there needed to be a change, you know, and there's so many companies out there like underglow companies and even non underglow companies claiming to be the best at something. Now we have the best, we're like, we have the best lights. We have, we are the brightest company. And then you get their kits and you're unsatisfied. You're like, oh, the app doesn't work right. I press green and it gets me red. You're right. Like, That's not cool. You know, or it doesn't work and there's no customer service. It takes weeks, months to even hear back or you don't even get to hear back at all. Yeah. So, you know, why Loglo started was because of, you know, the original owner, Patrick, FRS Patty. Mm -hmm. um, he got an underglow kit. Um, very, supposed to be the best, very expensive, even got it from, uh, overseas, it wasn't waterproof, didn't work. You had to solder it, difficulty wiring. And, and he's looking at it like, this is the best. This is what the best underglow we have here is. He's like, this is horrible. And he ended up putting the work in and, and making things happen of, you know, what there's so many different types of strips. If I held up one of my strips or low glow strips to a competitor strips, there's it, there's a difference to it, but like your eye won't see it. It's something right. within the PCB board, you know? Um, so he ended up doing a lot of testing, made it happen. Even when I hit him up when he was like blown up on the gram, he got his first like FRS done. It was pulling mad views. And I was like that under, I've never seen it before. And I want it. I want it. 
And um, it, it really changed my perception of underglow as well. As soon as I got a quality product, a quality underglow kit, yeah, it really changed my mind because I wasn't the biggest biggest supporter of underglow from the beginning. But it's something that like I tried it, and I see like what the product was, how what it started, and um, I have mad respect for Patrick and, and the people that made it happen, and and I'm so appreciative to be where I'm at and now owning the the company and um and and keep striving it forward like I feel like I got big shoes to fill I have a tons of resp uh, respect for Patty yeah and um you know Patty and I were still boys um but it's you know it was do, do, do change you right know, for what, what what was going on and um yeah so we just want to come out with a quality product that's what we started with a eight months of testing eight plus months of, of Patty testing the product um to then doing a first limited drop and making sure that everybody was like satisfied. Right. We did like a pre-drop and I was a part of that, making sure like everything ran smoothly, you know, which is so smart. And that's something that people, it's so underrated yeah. to have a new product and not rush to go out, to put the time in to actually care. Like this is going to help in the long run to make sure that it's tested correctly. There's good feedback. Cause that's so important to a first business, especially a, a new business Right. is making sure that Things go smooth and the word of mouth. The word of mouth is the biggest factor to a small business. Yeah. You know, if something's great and something's, um, the quality's there and people know they're getting taken care of, then that goes so far, so far. And that's how, like, one of the reasons why Logo is so big and where it's at now is the, the support that it has. But people can tell, like, we're here for the people. Right. You know, we care about your hard earned money, like, being spent, like, towards our business, you know, and we want to deliver you amazing customer service and a quality product right hands down so um frs patty yeah i, I kind of on the intro i said you know this is the new owner yep. but i mean you guys are still obviously friends and you guys are yeah you know very cordial i'm assuming yeah you know i worked um <laughs> I, I knew patty since like um summer of 20 i would be before about like spring spring spring, spring of 21 you know where okay yeah so it was, it was jake uh patty and myself and we ended up we all three get up getting really close and we just facetimed each other for weeks to months on end yeah. every night we facetime and um i was and i was super proud of patty i was always like really there for patty and you know when the first time patty and i met each other we were a little little like standoffish trying to catch each other's vibe yeah but then once we like let like we're all just friends at the end of the day and like he's such a good dude like same with jake and we all like, like we all three flow really well together. So I was not really happy where I was at in Washington and Patty gave me a call one day and he's like, dude, like I need someone who's creative, has a dope car, has, has that work ethic. Like, I'm not trying to like brag about myself, but that that's who I am. Like I'm, I was trying to be really creative on TikTok, yeah, social media. It's what I like to do with uh, me being creative. He called me one day and was like, come, come work with me. Like come move out here. And I'm like, dude, no, no way. And he was persistent. Yeah. And looking back, it's like if someone, if I gave an opportunity to someone to come work here, like right. they would instantly. Yeah, yeah. You know, but it was still brand like super new. And I was like, I can't leave my family. I can't, you know, I got so much stuff going on because we have family businesses. We were right. going through some family troubles. And like, I felt like I was abandoning my family to go and move across the country when they, they needed my help. Mm -hmm. But um, my, my parents were kind of very like standoffish on a, on a new business as well. They were very like, are you sure this is what you want to do? What if it doesn't succeed? But I'm like, that'll just come back. You yeah. Know, like nothing, I want to try. Like I'm always trying and evolving. And, um, I spent a week with Patrick, see if we can like live with each other and work with each other. Like that's very hard to do to work with friends, work with someone and live with them. Yeah. Very difficult, especially in business and, and, and whatnot. But we survived a week. He said, all right, leave half your clothes here. Go back to Washington, pack for a month. We, I stayed with him for a month. And we worked so well together and, um, and Patty was like, yeah, like, let's, like, let's get you out here. Flew back to Washington. I sold 80% of my stuff and, um, wow. yeah, sold my S 13, sold like my SR 20 that I have into it. I, I use that money to buy a trailer yeah. so I can tow my BRZ across the country, Damn. which I actually went from Washington to Florida, Florida, Ohio, cause I wanted to go to a clean culture show right. event in uh, Florida and see, uh, you know, Adam LZ and, uh -huh. um, uh, divine media. So, um, but yeah, moved to Ohio and I was like, dude, what the hell is in Ohio? 
Yeah. I just play like I hear all the memes like about Ohio. I'm like, no, but then actually living in Ohio is actually like an amazing time. And I highly suggest people to come check out like Ohio. There's a lot of stuff to do, actually. A lot of good food, too. Ohio. Yeah. I, I've, I've been there. I've been there a couple times. <laughs> what, what part? Um, we were like Columbus, like North North Columbus. Amazing. I was in, uh, where did my friend live? I used, I, used to, uh, I used to take the bus, Chinatown bus there from Philly. Okay. Um, damn. What part of? Uh, There's Cleveland, Columbus, uh, Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Okay. Because yes, he was in Cincinnati uh, Ballet. Yes. Nice. Company, yeah. Um, it was nice, though. It was dope. It's not, yeah, bad. Like, you know, not, not bad, dude. I don't, I don't know why I get some, the depends the on what part. Um, I think it could be, I mean, ratchet, there's some though. parts where like, it's it just be, corn, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> corn everywhere. I mean, anything outside of New York is the same. Like, yeah, it's, this yeah. is like, you know, it's wild. The views out here are crazy, the Hills, but it is a lot. Like, I, I don't understand how people are able to kind of live out here and go to the supermarkets and travel down these crazy yeah. roads and shits. It's wild. So, but, um, but so, yeah, no, it's, it's definitely different. Ohio is, is. Yeah. You know. So then once I uh, like started with low glow and man, I got to learn about the, the type of the effort that we're putting in, like that we're putting into this qual like quality of a product from our packaging. Um, you know, Patty really, really puts in the, the work when it comes to like quality and like, the packaging and taking care of someone. And that's something where, you know, I had those values as well, yeah. but it wasn't to that level. And, um, you know, my job there was to do social media wise, you know, fast forward to like where I'm at now, it's so hard to be creative when you're like now being the owner, right? The biggest struggle right now is being creative because now I got to worry about lawyers and I got to worry about tax accounts and I got to worry about, um, you know, uh, just regular accountants and, um, keep making sure things are afloat in the bookkeeping. Like yeah. that's where I'm like, that's taking up all my energy where I'm like, I got to get back into that creativity mode. Yeah hardest thing so for me like we were such a great team because he was worrying about that stuff and i was one being creative and like you know and learning how he films and like how like okay then he learned off of my filming of how i do things right and we were just a like, man we were the dream team man but it was also like working with someone living with someone and then you know obviously there's someone's getting paid more than you you can't put you you can't have that ego there yeah. You know, I, you can't sit there arms across. He's getting this and I'm not getting this. It's like, I seen, I seen the future. Like right. I, he was taking care of me. I was taking care of him. We were all taking care of each other, but it's like, that's the number one reason I think small businesses, especially friends fails because someone in there has an ego. Someone wants, wants you, wants to either get paid more or is jealous. And you got to push those to the side. You know, there's times where he was buying car parts. And I was like, man, like, I wish I could spend that much money on car parts right now for my build. Like my build's been the same for this many years. Right. But it's like, I can't have those, that mindset. Even though I was thinking it, it, it didn't, I never like held a grudge on it. I never, you know, made that an ill towards way of how I feel about him. But, um, you know, I just, I, just, I believe that like, you know, he was taking care of me and, and he moved me out here. And I, was, I had so much respect for him to move me out of Washington, mm -hmm. take care of me along the way and where I'm at. So, um, I had that, I just, powerful, yeah. you had to have respect both ways, right? Respect, uh, no, like put the ego to side, no jealousy, right? A very hard thing to do. Yeah. That's, and that's one of the reasons why low glow is successful as well. It's because everyone's like that. So what makes you guys so different from another kit that you can just buy on Amazon or, you know, like, cause that's the biggest thing. People can just say like, oh, well I could just go buy the same shit. It's just got your bro. It's the yeah. same shit. Like that's what you hear all the time. All the, all the time. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's, it's when I said, when you think about the word underglow, you think about those Amazon kits are $20. Yeah. You know, our kits range from 300 to 350, depending on which size you need, you know, a size for a Miata is going to be different versus a challenger, a charger, um, a Ferrari to a 350Z, you know, and, um, that's where it ranges in price, right? right? If you buy something on Amazon, you're getting one size. That's, that doesn't one even fit a Miata. That doesn't basically. even fit a Miata. Yeah. You know, and there's companies out there that are five, $600, but there's so complex wiring in, inside and that, that's just confusing. It's not DIY friendly. Mm -hmm. So we're not the most expensive. We're right in that. I feel like that sweet spot onto it. You know, there's, there's people out there that are, you know, 50, couple hundred, hundred dollars off. And they claim that, that we're overpriced, but it, once you, I, I really want someone to buy just so many, like from a 20 to a 200 to a 300 to a 600. Yeah. 
and I'm willing to throw, like help throw in a kit for that. Like if they're going to do a very in-depth video and we don't give away our kits, we don't give right. away our kits. We don't discount our kits. We, you know, that's like the thing is, is for low glow is we have a limited supply of it. Right. But the one thing that makes us really different, especially is when our harness, we have a um, main kill switch mm -hmm. that you route inside your car. It also helps prevent battery drainage. That's the biggest thing is people right. will install these cheap uh, underglow kits. And even like though it's it's small and like the kit's small, it'll still drain your battery. Yeah. Where you don't drive your car for a day, two days, three days, a week, drained. And like, so you know what is expensive? A new battery. <laughs> a new battery is expensive. It is. You know, so with our kit, it helps prevent that. Right. Um, which is very important, especially the safety um, reason too. It's like if you have a kit that doesn't have a main power switch, you got to whip out your phone while driving if you want, if you don't want, if you're passing a cop or, you know, some sort of section or you damage it and, um, you know, one side's working, one side's not. It's like, man, I want to rock it. You got to pull out your phone. You're, you're spending a minimum 30 seconds on your phone while driving. Yeah. No, with ours, you press a button, boom, it's done. Killed it. That's dope. Yeah. So, um, that's something that people really don't pay attention to. Also, we made our kit very interchangeable and accessible back in 2021 or 2020, way before then you either had the glass tubes, which those things are, weren't low car friendly. Um, it didn't supply enough coverage. Mm -hmm. That's another thing. And especially if you got a rock kick up and you hit glass, you're shattering glass underneath. Right. You know, I mean, I never personally installed one of those, um, glass tube. So I'm not too sure how, um, durable those like are actually are, but yeah. like it's glass under a car, like rocks get hit. I don't want glass going in my car. I'm mm -hmm. not trying to like dis a company or anything like that, but that's just my mindset on things. Right. Um, another thing is the strips itself. Okay. You know, being interchangeable, we have connectors on each side. So if you damage a strip, you un undo it, rip it off, clean it up, restick, put them back on, you're, you're going, right? Back then it was all hardwired. You had to run it through the engine bay, yeah. through the front control arms, through the back, and it was five, six hours, and you got done with it, and you were, you know, I'm a little sick. <laughs> <You could. laughs> Sorry, I apologize about that. But, um, and you were happy with that at the end of the day. You turn on, you're like, I spent six hours of my life at doing this. Now yeah, my yeah. battery's dead, right. you, know? <laughs> you know? So, right. um, yeah, we try to make it uh, easily interchangeable, DIY friendly, uh, installation friendly biggest thing um down to we modify the pcb board on the inside to make it stronger we use a stronger silicone um competitors use a sleeve like an mm. ip65 or an ip67 right that's like the the sleeve that's covering the uh the pcb board in the inside okay. the leds and everything that pc that ip67 you could like shove your fingernail through you know what also you can shove through it rocks rocks puncture it water allows to get in cuts your kit cuts it Damage, Damn. damages it with our, ours. We use something called IP 68, which is a fully siliconed, um, like over the top of the, the, um, PCB board, right. very strong. Like you, and what we do is IP 68 plus, which is even stronger. Like you, you can't even bury your fingernail in it. It won't like, it'll barely move and it's very strong, but like, that's, that's the main, re main reasons. Yeah. I'll be use authentic, uh, 3M double-sided tape people i know a lot of people have bad history with double-sided tape you know it falling <laughs> off and not working right but yeah you know we give those tips and tricks of like you know we we recommend people mounting uh the strip this distance this distance away from the front bumper front lip mm -hmm. uh, side skirts um how to clean it you know we give that detailed instruction so you can have the best um possible install and best experience with our product right and by the end of it you rip off a strip you have to be uh you know shaving off like yeah. rest of the 3m so uh, we use authentic 3m it has 3m vhb on it on the back of it if you have a uh, underglow kit and it just says red red strip it's yeah, not yeah. authentic 3m if it just says m on it that's even worse <laughs> trying to act like it's 3m but it just says m on it it's like dude that's a joke it's smart know? though it's a joke it's, it's a, it's a it company, companies like that where they claim to have the best or try to, yeah, I guess you could say compete with us, but yeah. you don't even, you, you're, you won't even use authentic 3M double-sided tape to ensure that your customer can have a solid install. Is that a joke? I mean, but you know why though, right? It's probably just to keep profit costing. more. Yeah, it's exactly. cheap. Yeah, it's, cheaper, it's cheap. Right, but right, like, right. you know, people don't, they don't hear that LEDs can be expensive, but the way that we modify it and you know, we're, I don't say scared, but like, we don't want to publicly like point out every detail that we do because of so many people copy us yeah. right down to our strip sizes of what we use. People copy us. And it's horrible, man. Like the market, but when they see something like 
there's something good quality market they try to evolve but they don't mm. want to ev evolve on themselves they try to copy what we do right hard man it's hard but that's just business at the, the end of the, day. We have, is, you have to keep evolving as well right right yeah so um i know you mentioned some controversial stuff before about why you guys do what you do you guys yeah. do a lot of content you guys have viral videos as well um and especially with the car i mean you don't have this is not your car it's obviously yeah, FRS Patty's yeah this car. is fs patties I, I flew in <laughs> yeah, yeah. From, from arizona we just recently moved so we're in a a little larger uh, warehouse now right um try to take care of our customers and and uh create more content fun, fun stuff uh so patty was so kind enough to let me borrow his car and just drive around gatlinburg and yeah it's a way different experience here at gatlinburg uh when you have like a really cool car right and, and especially like in a car you know that's uh that's a big thing but um you know, we were talking about like wh why Logo really blew up. Yeah, right. Well, one, it's 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 a multiple factors a thing, and it's it's a beautiful thing where people notice that we care about our customers. We our customer service and product quality is our number one priority. That's why we only sell our kits every six to eight weeks. That's why we only sell a limited amount. We want to make sure that each person is getting taken care of when installing, or they have questions that we stay on top. But us as a small business, we don't get overwhelmed. Right. And that ruins that word of mouth. It ruins experiences. And, and we prioritize product quality, customer service over making money. Right. And having a company do that, in my opinion, is so rare. So rare. But you know, that's the values that we have. Right. 100%. But it's also the factor of it's controversial. We build our cars controversial. You know, we don't, have to, we don't want to fight with people. You know, we want to post our cars, have fun what we do. Right. But there's going to be people that either love it or people that hate it. People love Underglow because... Um, you know, they see that it's evolving, it's coming into a, it's actually a good product. And there's people that have that stigma behind underglow where it's cheap and there's no way that yeah, there's no such thing as a good underglow kit, I guess. Uh, but it also comes down to how we build our cars. We rock right. in ESRs, we're rocking uh, wide body kits, we're rocking bags, you know, those things are just topics for people to talk on. And that's, um, that's a factor as well. If you out there, you want to build something and, you know, and. I hate to say build something for like clout, but like you kind of have to, but to get like, to get help is where it's at. You know, you can't have a stock car, go to a company. Like if you have a stock car coming to me and you have a hundred followers trying to ask for sponsorships, we don't even do sponsorships, but like, I, I, I'm sorry. I laugh. You know what I mean? It's like, but that's what people don't know. You got to put, you got to show your, your worth, right? Your dedication to it. Like you spent your hard earned money to get where you're at mm -hmm. and people love your car and they, you're, um, I don't want to say an influencer, like even if 60 K followers, you're not an influencer, you know, you need like a lot, you know, 60, 60 K followers today is like five K today or like back then. Well, hundred K is like the new 10 K hundred percent. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. That's how, I, I've, I've been saying that for a while. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, we understand like, yeah, you have 50,000 followers, but like that value of that isn't as like strong to someone that. What about engagement though? Engagement is very important. So if you have 50,000 followers and you're getting like 50,000 likes, does that matter to you? That's a little sus. Is it? That's a little sus. It looks like you're buying followers or something. <laughs> you're buying likes. Yeah. <laughs> but I, like if you... That's true. But the thing is, is like if that's you have true. good hashtags and you're, you're pumping out good content, if you're pumping out, if you have 1,000 followers and you're getting 50,000 likes a post, something's off because you you better be getting like up there. I posted a video. It got 20 million views and I doubled my account in two weeks. Yeah. So you should be a lot, at least like growing from like a lot of those. So posts. you're saying if you're not growing from the content, but you have a lot, you have, you have a, a thousand yeah. followers, and fifty thousand likes on a post. That's <laughs> sus, bro. That's <laughs> sus. But it's also worse when it's like, for me, it's like, I put a lot of pressure. I think a lot of us put a lot of pressure. It's like we have a lot of following, so we expect to have like a lot of likes. Right. But it's so hard to like post something. You know, I don't do every, what we do for like just for likes. Yeah. But it's also like at a business standpoint, you have to produce something. And to get like the views and the engagement and like, that's, that's how you make your money at the end of the day. Once you make social media, like a, a money thing, then that's when like things get flipped in your head, right? you know, where you need to have like, man, I need to have people liking my stuff. I need the engagement. I need, um, I need the likes and the views. Like right. I need people seeing what my stuff is and new and new followers. So what my brand can grow, you know, this is not, I'm not trying to say that you should be building your car for views and likes to get something. But how, if you have a passion towards something and you, you build your car for a show car, then you're going to put the effort in building your car to be a show car right. and you post about it. People are going to be interested and that's how you're going to get the organic uh, followers and likes. Right. You know, when you're, you can obviously tell when someone's like forcing to get likes, forcing to get views. Yeah. You know, that's not cool.
you know you're like the first person i've spoken to who has like this whole content um mindset down i mean i'm sure other people do but like you i've been in it for a while man yeah, like yeah, i'm yeah. 25 i've been doing it since i was 18 yeah yeah i feel old people look at me like you're og i'm like hell no i'm not og you know there's people that are like in their 30 40s and uh you know i look up to those guys still yeah you know then there's people still coming up where i look i look as them as mentors right you know but that's also me evolving you know i was a 2019 2020 me was a is a completely different person but that's just growing right. you know and I, i'm i'm bummed that you know there's still people out there very few people out there that still visualize me or they see me and they see 2019 me 2020 me it's like no bro i've grown up i'm such a totally different person now yeah but that's just like that's the thing of like i lost friends from that but i had people sit me down and um how i was acting i was getting views like you know for for myself three cities is a totally different persona than jordan Jordan's right. a completely different person in three cities, but I was making three cities like, and that sounds weird. And if you don't get it and you don't get in, you're not there yet. What does know? three cities mean? So I'm from tri cities, Washington. So Kennewick, okay. Richland, Pasco. It's kind of like here where there's uh Seaverville, Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg. Okay. All very close together, but it's called uh, tri cities. And I didn't know what I wanted for like a username. Cause I was switching from like dirt bike content to, uh, which mm. I wasn't even like content, but it was like my hobby then. And I got hurt and I was like, I was just depressed. And I wanted something to do. I needed something to do. Yeah. It's like, I want to build cars. And um, I went and got a BRZ and, and it's, the rest is history at that point. I worked so hard to like, I worked twice as hard or put in twice the hours to try and, and afford car parts, you know? And that's something where it was a motivational factor. It was like a kid for me. Right. Like, you know, you have a kid on the way. There's so much of a motivation. Like, you know, I don't have a kid or anything, but like <laughs> it's that motivational factor of like, I got to hustle. Yeah. I got to put that work in it to provide for this. I want to provide for my car. Like that was my main thing. I put every paycheck in that thing. But um, that was your first bill though. First bill. BRZ. Yep. BRZ. So I went from uh, Tri-Cities. Um, and I was like, man, I want to rep my hometown. So three cities, Tri-Cities, three cities. Mm. And I was like, three cities, BRZ has a, it's smooth. It sounds smooth. Yeah. And I was sitting there in bed. I'm like smiling. I'm like, yep, this is it. Three cities, this BRZ. is it. So. And at that time, uh, how many followers did you have? Oh, like a thousand. 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 And yeah. how long did it take for you to get to where you are now? How many followers do you have? Now? Oh, man. I think it's like 100. And man, like after. So there's always like phases in your build. Yeah. When you're brand new, you buy everything so cheap. You buy the replica parts. You do everything so half fast because you can't afford it. Yeah. But then I sat there one night and my car was like white. I had, you know, uh, not the proper body kit on. I had not the wheels, I, not the fitment that I wanted. I didn't have things. I cheaped out. And right. I sat there and I was like, I'm not happy. I did not, like, I don't feel like I deserve this because I, I, because I half-assed it. Right. So I sat, I sat at that shop looking at the car and I dismembered everything, bro. I ripped the, the wrap off. I drilled out the body kit and I sat there and I was like, I worked, I put the hours in, I got the V3, a Panem kit. And I was a little bummed because as soon as I got the V3, the, um, well, actually I was about to get the version two, but right. I got, the, I got word that the V3 was going to come out. It's like, cool. Like I'm going to save it for this V3 kit called up a uh, evasive motorsports and they had a kit available and i was like let's go get it and there's no better feeling than buying like your first like bi big authentic purchase yeah and um yeah i got like nice wheels for it i worked with some companies and i hustle car shows i love going to car shows and i love winning car shows i have that um the competitiveness in me you know when I, if i'm doing something i want to be the best I try to be the best. You know what I mean? Right. So I was going to car shows and I think my first, my first car show was in, uh, Spocom, San Francisco. I took third place for best, um, Subaru. And I was so pumped on it, but I was like, what, what do I need to get to the next level? And I told my dad, you know, my dad's like, you got third, you know, third's not good in my family, you know? Oh damn. And he's like, what, what needs, like, what do you think needs to be for like you to get first? Yeah. And I was like, okay, I can do wheels. Okay. I can do a cage. And I started thinking these things and I, um, and I got, I just did everything right this time. Right. And it, and it proved itself. I went to amazing shows. I hustled. I traveled, uh, to, um, to shows in California and a lot of people were helping me out, like let me stay there. And I, I gained 30,000 followers in one year. That's with no reels. That's just from networking. Yeah. Yeah. Being with people. I was like in uh, you know, a couple, I was in like TJ Hunt's video. I was work, I was like hanging out with Dustin Williams. I was hanging out with these big influencers and you know how I was being young at that time, you know, um, 
And people are going to ask, like, what were you doing for work? What were you doing for work being that young? And I was in shipping and receiving, and I was also doing work that I, I did not want to do, uh, working in potato fields. So, potato fields? Yeah, that's a whole other story. But, like, <laughs> I, that four months, four months out of the year, I was working 16 hours a day, six days a week, doing the most dangerous jobs of messing with high voltage, deadly chemicals. In a potato field? Um, potato storages. So, oh, I'm like, I'm thinking about a field yep, full of potatoes. Well, the, pota the potato, I'm, I'm going to make it quick because I can talk for hours <laughs> about these, this job. But I did this for three years. And uh, it's a job so hectic that and it's also family business as well. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, oh, we got handed to it. I didn't get handed to it. That job, you, it made me a man. It made me work on things. It made me, the person I am today was that hard job. Right. And um, in these big storages. There's $5 million worth of potatoes on this side. It's uh, 300 feet long by 25 feet deep of just potatoes. Wow. And all I'm going to say is go to your store, go to Walmart, Kroger, Publix, whatever, grab a potato, grab your flashlight from your phone and slowly look and you'll see little sparkles, little sparkles on your potatoes. And that's why there's such a controversy of do I eat the skin? Do I not eat the skin? It's because I'm the person putting chemicals on your potatoes. And doesn't go into the potato itself. It just sits there. Oh, um, a potato is actually very smart. Okay, this is my last thing I'm going to say about potatoes. <laughs> potatoes are smart, man. They're, they're, on, they're on this vine, right? Yeah. They're, like you hold, there's potato seed. And there's this, th you know, there's 15 potatoes on this vine. And you, and you pull the potato off the vine. It cuts the potato skin. Like a cut on your arm, right? You throw it in this, in this storage. And you set the right humidity. We control the humidity. We control the temperature. And we imitate it being uh, dormant underground. You said at, at the right humidity, right temperature, it heals itself. Potatoes heal them, them, themselves. Really? A potato will heal itself like a cut on your arm. And they, they take in oxygen and, they, and you're like, no way. But like, dude, don't mess with me. I know my potatoes. I worked it for three years. It was a four, four, four and a half month job, depending on like how much work we've mm -hmm. had. But man, I, you, I was making good money doing that really good money that's how i could afford these bills so like i basically work for four months and then you know take a couple months off because i was messing with daily chemicals and, and and high voltage and people like competitors were burning down these storages and, and if you don't do your job right and you and you mess and you mess up um it, it costs a lot of money like if you you could damage these potatoes if you don't do your job right and you damage more than two hundred fifty thousand dollars with potatoes that company is that um landlord's gonna sue you it's serious stuff what? But that's where that's where the money's at. So I was doing that for three years. That's where I made my lot, majority of my money. So I'd take months off off of work, wow. and uh, build the car up, and then go travel, go hang out with like TJ, go hang out with Dustin, the guys at Throttle. You know those guys are super good dudes. And um, I was hitting car shows whole time. I I can't. I remember I came back. I spent a month and a half in California. I came back with zero dollars in my bank account. Damn. And I was like, man, like zero dollars. But it was worth it. And by gain thirty thousand. 30,000 followers and 30,000 followers back then, like was a lot, man. There wasn't no reels. There was yeah. nothing to, it was just all word of mouth and people right. seeing your car. Networking at car shows and so on. Yeah. 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 And people like sharing your, your car, whatnot. So there's def definitely that uh, different level of like th what is 30,000 followers back then, then versus to, like 30,000 now. now. Um, Cause now it's like a little easy, easier right. with reels and you just have good hashtags. And so do you over. think hashtags matter? Oh, hundred percent. Hundred. The only person on the planet that thinks this. Well, that thinks like that. Hundred like, thousand percent. I'm with you though. I'm with you on that. I'm with you. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some like. I tested this. I saw a buddy of mine. He's at our cabin right now. He doesn't know about this. Yeah. I saw a photo. A photo get a hundred thousand likes. I said, bullshit. This photo got a hundred thousand likes organically. I stole his hashtags. I posted. I was getting like five thousand likes, six thousand, whatever. And I posted a photo of my car using his hashtags. I got 20,000 likes off of that. I kept, I still use those hashtags today. So it's like, <laughs> still use them. I, I have to reorganize them because the yeah. algorithm keeps changing. But it's 100% hashtags work. And people people that say uh -huh. no are lying to you. Lying. Because they. I think they just don't want to overflood the market. But I don't care. I really don't care. That's a fact. I, I, had, I, I made a whole course on how to create content. Literally everything you're talking about. Yep did the same exact thing and for some reason every time i see content about hashtags it's always hashtags don't are bullshit they don't work there's Literally. many factors to it 
it's not just the hashtags. You're like, oh man, I, I use like Jordan. It's I stole your hashtags. Your they don't work. No, yeah. you have to create the, the quality of the content with the hashtags, right. with like certain lighting to what you're doing. It it all has to form together. It's like right. a pot. It's like a pizza. You know, if you have like one slice, it's just a hashtag and that's it. All you have. Then like, yeah, that's not enough to make a whole pizza. No, hundred you know I mean? percent. So that's so funny. Yeah, you have a lot of like. I think it's just a content creator's mindset that you definitely yeah. have that you're able, you know, you understand all the shit. I've been in here for a while, man. You know, and I see a lot of different things, um, but I never really publicly like said all this stuff because like this is my first podcast and like that's something. Like, oh, you never been on the podcast no, before. So, oh, okay. Like, I really appreciate you like hitting me up and, and you know we had some a mutual connect like introduce us yeah, and, like yeah. this was an amazing opportunity. Shout out to Panda or Steven. Shout out to Panda, man. Like this is a amazing setup you guys have here and you're you're pulling mad views on like instagram and you're putting the work in so like I, res it. I respect like you and your team of, of everything that you guys are doing but um yeah <laughs> content <God's> content <laughs> is hard you know content is hard and yeah. it's a lot of fun especially when you try to make it you're doing it for fun and then you transform it into like money business that's when like it, the fun gets kind of taken out of it sometimes yeah then it's like you're stressed man you're stressed on it but you know it um, is it is it is super stressful but, but like going back on to like low glow side of things um you know i you know, I'm not going to talk about the really the reason why, like, I became the new owner or not. You know, like, if Patty was here, like, let Patty talk on that. Right. But we made an Instagram post. If you guys want to check it out, go check um, go check out our Patty's and I's Instagram. And, like, we made a post on it. But um, I became the new owner of Low Glow. And it's, like, a big shoes to fill. And, um, you know, we're always trying to improve. And, and, you know, we still have those same, like, morals of take care of our customers. And right. there's times, man, like, we're working on holidays we're on christmas and it's not because like we want to like not because like we need to it's because we want to right we want to take care of people you know we understand like we appreciate people that spend their hard-earned money with us 100 percent, and that's that's so rare like in the car community now to have like a company and, and people notice that we don't have to say it we don't say it people just notice it yeah. and it's just something like i'm saying it now because i want other people to see this and be like that's where I want to be. I want to have an amazing product to take care of people and, and a good solid team behind. But, right. you know, there's other people that try to do what we do. There's people that try to come out with underglow kits and try to make it and claim it to be better with us. And they don't last, dude. It's because it's that word of mouth and also the loyalty. We have an amazing group of people, an amazing group of supporters. I think we're a very underrated, like, community of people. And um, it's, you know, it's beautiful we do. I mean, we sent thank you cards to a lot of our customers i'm not gonna yeah. say a number but we spent two weeks putting stickers and packaging and and buying stamps and and people sat there and were like i've never got this from a company before you know people are even just happy to get a response back from us you wouldn't believe <laughs> the amount of people that just say i just can't believe you guys responded yeah like damned us like no but we we try to take care of every single person and uh it's it's four of us we have everything organized really well you know we've we've been in this for um you know coming up on our third year and like two and a half years we're on right now and um, two and a half years since, since it logo. started yeah the first drop was july um july 20 uh, 23rd i believe it was right. and 2021 and we did a limited drop on that mm -hmm. we sold out in five minutes and how, so, how many did you sell <laughs> <laughs> it was very it was a like little amount but we, we don't talk numbers we don't know like i think that's the most interesting about no like, one really knows company, how many though. because th this is the reason why um on our on Patty's Snapchat, he took a photo of the kits laid out. Right. And somebody was like, "Oh my God, you made this much money!" Like, dude, we don't want people thinking about it like that. Like, that's such a negative mindset. Yeah. Like, wow, you guys made this much money. It's like that's not. No, you don't know the logistics behind. It. You don't know how much we spent. You don't know how much like man hours we put into that. Mm -hmm. Like, no, you don't know that. So like, we don't want people knowing that. Right. It's just that, it's not a lot. Like, I'm not selling you. We sell like a crazy amount. We don't. We're a small team, small business, and we prioritize taking care of our customers and product quality the first like few drops we tested every kit Te and, like it took about 20 minutes to like test a kit unpackage everything test we plugged it in everything we had a ton of people help like not a ton but we had even supporters working for free to come help us yeah and we are so blessed to have that like background of people you know even like aaron started out um in high school and uh, he was working a side job um as um <laughs> I was about to say Taco Bell. That's a joke. At this fancy restaurant, <laughs> at a fancy restaurant, and he would he would intern. He would intern for a school, but then he just never left. Yeah. So that's how Aaron's here. He worked for free, but you know people also have that work ethic. They work hard for three months, 
and then it's called the honeymoon phase and then um they stop working hard yeah so you got to weed out those people that you know are either you know in that honeymoon phase and they drop off and you got you got to let them go mm. like you know you got to have people dedicated to your work and that's so crucial to have right now we have a team that you know we're ama like amazing of how well like everyone is together right and works hard and like and takes care of the customer they treat the business like like um like it's their own it's theirs, that was yeah. like the reason why like for me getting into the, the position where i'm at with low glow because i treat the business like like it was mine right obviously i wasn't like getting paid like, like patty though. or anything like that but like <laughs> that's the reason why like when patty like we kind of just discussed like do you think you could do it he sat me down jay was like do you think you could do this yeah I said, I, feel, I was like, I feel like I'm, I've been doing it. You know, yeah. I've been, I, like I helped Patty out with like, with the DMs to like, you know, some things where Patty didn't let me do, but I learned it, right. you know? And, um, it's, it's a thing of like, be there for your business and like, especially a small business and have surround yourself with good people that, you know, that don't have that, not jealous. They don't have the ego and they want your business to succeed and that you bring them up, you know? Right. Like, obviously like I take care of my guys, like I give them raises and you know, they, I don't, charge them rent like uh, to live with us you know and uh you know i trail i trail their cars down and you know i think they see that like they appreciate like they appreciate that 100 percent. but it's like i appreciate that more because i know how rare it is from my business background right to have people so dedicated to your business so how um how do you get your kit can i order it right now <laughs> no on our on our site right now is uh is sold out we do drops every t basically every six to eight weeks sometimes a little bit more yeah uh, just kind of where we're at it doesn't mean like or messing around yeah. whatnot, but we're taking care of people like taking care of trying to like help people install. There's some people that don't know, like red goes to positive and black goes to negative on the battery terminals. They haven't flip flopped. Like you gotta be very patient with those people. But at the end of it, they're so appreciative, but how to buy a kit. Oof, we do it. We have drop, we have drop dates and, um, yeah, we like our drop is uh, October 13th is coming up and, uh, it's at 9 PM EST, 6 PM PST. And um, if you don't know which strip you have, for, like, or what strip sizes for your car, you DM us. That's why we're on DM so much, is because we don't tell people to go measure their cars. We tell them, like, hey, I drive a 350Z. Like, yeah. Okay, then you need a 32 inch front, a 64 inch side, and a 16 inch rear. Like, n name a car, and I'll, I'll I'll know the sizes. Mark Five Supra. You need a 36 inch front, 64 inch side, and 16 inch rear, or 20 inch rear. Uh, Any car, okay. I don't care what it is. Tesla, 36, 76, uh, 24. Pandem, you know, wide body kit, 44, 68, 20. And I can make custom rears for your car too. We tell, we have everything memorized. We don't have a sheet of paper. He's, and Aaron's nodding his head over there. We know every car. You, you tell us, whatever. If you, if you want, test us, send us a DM, tell us where your car is and we'll tell you your strip sizes. Yeah. Because we make it, we make the process so easy. Right. You know, you don't have to go out there, measure your car. Oh, it's too much work. You know, we tell you what it is. So, and then uh, you be on our site right at 9 PM and you have your, you have your strip sizes already known because we told you. Right. And um, then when people get the kit, they are pumped. People are like, yes. Like they scream, like send us videos. I got a kit. I got a kit. And that's so special. That is when, dope. When man, so yeah. and people are like just so happy that the value of like a logo kit is even just one, like getting one. Right. You know, and it's funny, like people like buy a kit and they try to upsell it for four or $500 on, on eBay because they can't get a kit. Damn. You know, or it's... um. So like that's how to get a kit but a lot of people you know i say well you know it's so cheap or whatever like i bet i can make mine cheaper and it's like the things that we do to our kit like you know i'm not even gonna say right like it's you know it makes what's us special on the on, on those on those side of things um you know there's always room for us to grow mm -hmm. from like new strip development new new uh, pc board, board design but the one thing we're really getting focused on is the new controller because i'm gonna say like when you first get our kit, like the controller is really cool. Like it's yeah. 200 pre-programmed modes, but later on you kind of get, I don't say tired, but like you want to create your own modes. Like I want orange and blue. Like how about I try this? But with our controller, um, it doesn't allow you to do that. And the reason why we pick this controller over any other is because of the app. Um, it's the app that we have currently now with the controller is very responsive. When you hit, when you hit blue, it goes to blue. There's controllers out there where you buy a kit you put it on your car and you press green and it goes to red. And their people are like, this is confusing. And then they ask them for help. Hey, why is my kit going from, uh, I press green, but it goes to red. Right. And they won't, they don't get a response for weeks. 
Basically. And like that's that's frustrating. That's how it goes. That's so frustrating. That's how it is. So we're working on developing like our own app, our own controller, but we have to lock the software since there's so many people out there trying to copy us from our strip sizes to claiming to like they, their products as good as ours. And, and uh, you know, saying that, well, uh, you know, the biggest difference with our kit is it's cheaper. Cheaper isn't always better. Like, right. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Um, you know, like, oh, ours, ours is... You know, we can do color, uh, different color chasing modes. Well, the app is confusing, you know, or doesn't work properly. Right. You know, so we want to have a simplistic DIY friendly kit. And I think with our controller, it's with its pre-programmed modes and what its functions are, it fits perfect. And the modes are beautiful. Even if it's a different yeah. controller and you can create it, it still won't look as good as the controller that we have now. No, it looks dope. I, I, I try to... Um I, that's why I bought the Amazon one because I try to get the, like the, ch the chase lights yep. um, that you guys have. You guys have very unique um, lights yeah. that you can do cool things with um, that other people obviously can't really emulate. So Yeah, back in the day, it, all, it was just one strip in the front, yeah. small strip in the side, one strip in the rear. Um, but we, we start our kit in the middle because if you're filming from the passenger side, we want everything in sync. Before, it's just, it goes in a circle. Right. But if you're trying to film on this side, you're not – you're, you're you're only getting the side strip. Oh, you guys really thought about. Yeah, all we this we put stuff. a lot of effort that's into crazy. it because that's what the people deserve. People deserve a high quality product, right? You know, and uh, there needs to be more people out there that um, strive for not not to be money hungry, but right. like to have a quality product for the people because yeah. they deserve it. You know, times are tough out here to spend their money, and and um, we want to make sure people that spend the money with us like mm -hmm. are getting a product and and a service that is top notch level 10 out of 10. Right. And that's the reason why Loglo has a 99% positive feedback rate. Like, and we, we want to keep striving for even more than that. We want, you have we any want trouble to have customers everybody. though? We try to, what was that? You have any trouble customers? There's a few people, you know, where if their underglow isn't working correctly and we have to remind everybody at the end of the day, these are led strips and wires under a car. Debris gets kicked up under the car. Rocks get kicked up under a car. Um, you know, even like, taking like the end of the strip and you're take the wire and it's pulled too tight the yeah. flex in the bumper will pull out the solder and people are like it doesn't look damaged well and i'll tell you like well you send me a photo of it please and they'll send a photo and say hey this is the reason why yeah and, you know and at the end of the day we get them taken care of and uh people are like now i know so it's a teaching lesson but mm -hmm. it's like you got to have people on top of them kind of calm the situation down inform them and understand and take care of them right and that's what we do so the, of course there's people out there, you know, can't, you can't please everybody, you know, just people, you know, unfortunately they, they drive really low cars, low glow. Yeah, yeah. That's why we made our kits interchangeable and accessible, um, with connectors on each end. If you damage it, you rip it off, you know, unplug it first, rip it off, right. throw a new one on. You don't need to buy a whole new kit like a, like these competing, like our competing companies. Right. Right. So, but so how do you, f how do you feel about, um, I know you mentioned before something about cars not being slammed to the ground. I mean, your kit obviously is designed for that, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, we're it's called low glow, you know, <laughs> um, <laughs> for those low cars. But man, it's funny now that there's there's trucks putting our kits on. There's like mini we have minivans, like you know, there's a Mini 30, 36, 76, 24. Slammed? No, not regular. slammed. No, we have like daily drivers, like one of the first mods, you know, that wow. they do. Like, yeah, it's the first mod I'm doing. I'm putting on my car. Yeah, and. um you know, and that's, and it looks good. Like you put on a new Honda, Honda Civic and it actually looks really good. Wow. Really good. So uh, the higher your vehicle is, the more uh, coverage the lights go. Right. Like if your car is aired up this high, the coverage is going to go out to here. But if your right. car is slow, it's only come out to here, but it's more defined. The lower your car is, the more defined the, the, the color the chasing modes are. That's what you should be pushing for. So it, wor it works well both ways. Yeah. Even if you're high up, uh, obviously the solid colors look a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, and then lower you are the more the color chasing modes look right. really really cool right right that no it's definitely it's definitely dope um that you guys are to me like i, I haven't seen any other kids like that with the yeah the chase light so i always think of that you know when you're so company. like hearing from like our standpoint of like logo getting to know like myself and the brand like is that something you would put on like consider putting on your car is that are you still like kind of wishy-washy on the no on the so side? i i when i put the underglow in my car i yeah. was looking to buy your kit yeah but then i saw it, i think it was sold out and i was yeah. like and i couldn't figure out where to get it so i was actually gonna dm yeah. and find out where to get it i think i actually did um i did i did reach out yeah some people don't like to wait and, and you so guys answered you guys did oh, answer yeah, of course i forgot about that of course yeah you know uh yeah. you know either either having drops is also a good thing too right. it's something people look forward to to save their money up on you know yeah. like times are tough like i said so it's like we have a drop october 13th somebody like watches it now okay i'm gonna be ready and save up the amount of money yeah to uh to
be on, make sure I'm on the drop. And we like hook people up. Like we take care of people. We throw in like extra goodies for people. Um, you know, we have a really cool air freshener pack. We have like cool wall, like uh, wallpaper designs that we put on our like sites. We just have, like to have fun. Yeah. We create fun content and we, we create everything on our phones as well. Like that's right. another thing I want to talk upon is that people think like it's fake or we film on very like expensive cameras. Mm -hmm. No, all of our videos on our logo page and what we film is on our phones. Cause we don't want to mislead anybody that right. we're doing something special to get our lights to look like this. No regular phone on a phone in my pocket. Like how crazy is that? And people are like, no way. And I'll send them people that deny it. I'll send them a video of the raw clip with the wind noise and everything. And they're like, wow. <laughs> wow. Sometimes it's just like the viral factor. It's like, you look at it. It's like, it has so many views and you're like, wait, why that? Wait, is this like, it's on a camera. Like you start yeah. thinking like the highest possible thing that it could be filmed on. But it's just like, sometimes life is simple. You know, you don't yeah. have to do so much. Yeah. I mean, uh, this is something I want to talk upon is uh, Patty. Patty and I was like, man, I want, we were talking about com like competing underglow companies. I was right. like competing, but like other underglow companies. And they're like, man, I wonder how much money like we've, he's like, I wonder how much money we've taken like from them. I'm going to say taken, but like, instead yeah. of like buying their product, they go to ours. And I said, I wonder how much money we've gained them because people don't like, they can't get our kit. You want to believe that amount of, the amount of people that, you know, they can't get our kit because of the drops, they go to a different underglow brand. Right. I understand. You know what I mean? You want something, you want it now. But there's a reason why there is a way, you know, like the quality's there. And um, the amount of people that said, oh, I bought this brand under Glow Light and I wasn't happy. And like, I want to go with your guys. And they said, they buy our kit. And you would not believe the amount of DMs that say, wow, I should have waited. Like, wow, like this is amazing. Your customer service, your product. And like, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but that's just how it is. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's what people, they have to learn, you know. They have, right. They, that's sometimes a good thing for them to learn, like, what is a different from another Underglow brand to our brand. Mm -hmm. What's different between, like, a $20 to a $200 to $300, heck, to even, like, a $600. The cheaper the cheaper kits, for those of you watching, if you buy a cheaper kit and it didn't work out for you, um, it's probably discouraging. You probably won't want to put another yeah. one in your car. That's what happened to me. And I'm, after I had mine, I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm not going to deal with the hassle because it's probably going to break, probably going to lose power. Cigarette light is going to go out. My car is brand new. This shouldn't be happening. So I kind of got turned off by it, but I still would love to give your, you know, your, your yeah, um, underglow a try. But um, I think you guys should give it a shot if you guys are watching this um, for sure, because um, you guys have a lot of things figured out that most people aren't thinking about. Like yeah, we, we try to think of all that content. Yeah. Thing. No, it's every, crazy. every technical like factor we, we try to think upon it, but it's also when we, we come back on, um, when I was young yeah. and I built my car really cheap and then I sat back and I realized like, this is not what, what my car deserves mm -hmm. for me to put on like a cheap wrap right. to a cheap body kit, to a cheap wheels. Like you got to look at yourself of like, what do I deserve it? Like mm. for my build, right? you know, I don't like seeing people, I guess a little controversial, but I don't like seeing people cut up 20,000, $50,000 cars and put like some cheap body kit on you know cheap we like cheap wheels it's like man like you know you devalue that car a little bit my guy like, <laughs> like at least like put in that work you know? yeah it's putting that work but i get it it's hard out there you know people but it's like do things right you know what i'm saying right and so it's like but like, i i had to learn that that's how like i'm in the position i'm at now because i had to learn from buying the cheaper stuff where I'm, i wasn't happy with it yeah then i bought and i got the good things so it's all a learning factor at the end of the day you right. know what i mean so I mean, it doesn't like hurt our feelings when like someone says, well, I'm just going to go to competing. It's like, right. You know, no, well, I it's you. like either you'll love it or like, you know, you'll come back and be like, I messed up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which, I like, we've up. had people like that. You know? <laughs> I definitely messed up, but I, I missed out actually. I don't want to say I messed up. I missed it's just out. a learning thing. You yeah. know what I mean? It's just a learning thing. And like I said, like it's hard for us to post like our strips and post our kits and like what we do different right. when there's so many people in, in companies overseas watching what we're doing trying to copy us right it's amazing and there's so many people that take sorry no, you're so good. many people that take a photo of our kit our cars and they send them overseas say i want a kit like this made and they'll steal like what we have like at ip68 plus um we have uh you know mounting tabs zip ties stickers and they'll copy what we have like in our kit and send send that to an inquiry on the entire like overseas database and we have companies that will email us companies that we don't even work with email us and saying hey this person with this name this phone number this email from this location <laughs> one one was just like a couple weeks ago from florida so i sent him a message i sent him an email saying hey blah 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 
like, hey, we come to our attention. You send us a, you sent an inquiry onto the um, onto the market to try and to uh, embarrassing. rebrand our kit and <laughs> and redistribution. Redistrib and it's something that you can't buy overseas. We're not drop shippers. I want to make that thing loud, like make that loud and cl yeah. clear. We're not drop shippers, but it's like that's really funny that even people overseas have that respect of like, wow, these guys have created something. But right. like we've also helped get them paid more because we brought. I feel like we truly thought like we truly brought Underglow back. Right. You know? No, I think I think you did, and that's why I that's why I stand and, by. But what people I said. Won't, won't give us that credit, which like is fine. Yeah. You know, but no, people 100%. know. People know. At the end of the day, like we don't claim to be the best. We do. We have our product. Do the talking. Right. Hundred percent. But um. You know, I want to talk on like drop shippers because you think about LED lights. You know, we're not drop shippers. Yeah. And um, if you buy an underglow kit or a product, you know, I'm going to stick with underglow kits. You buy an underglow kit and you take away the box, you take away the stickers, the air freshener, and you just have the LED strips and kit. If there's not a, their logo anywhere on that product, mm -hmm. it it's a drop shipper. They just bought it, repack repackaged it. Really? And claiming, and now they're, for, for like, and those do cost like 13, 20 bucks. You know, ours, we put so much into it where it costs a lot more than that. That's why we have the price over at with our kids. A lot more than that. But you look at our kits, our products, our logos are inside the strips. It's on the relay. Right. We have a very high, like, um, uh, like our instruction cards well detailed. Our relay has it. Controller has our logo. We put our logo in a lot of places, and that just proves like that we're not drop shipping. That we wow. we've developed a lot, and we've we're on our generation four strips. We're, we're about we're working on generation five right now, but you know, and that's something like do our drops get better? Yeah. Every time, yeah, we always try to produce something better each drop. Yeah. Even it's like Damn. better zip ties to the better boxes to the better uh, PCB board design um, to everything. We tried just something to make it better and better and better i so. think most car companies are doing that though like I, I, I said before um i think that a lot of people are just you know going overseas and getting products and then putting their, their oh it's name on it's it. everywhere it's bad yeah. it's bad but you know everyone wants a little piece of the pie that's the thing but like right. you know not everybody has it to like last like what we do because we put the work in we're on our phones a lot seven days a week answering people you know if people don't get there's some people that are so impatient if i don't respond to within 12 hours they throw up a question mark question mark question mark you know what i mean and like if i don't like we don't respond within like one to two days there's some people out there that get so mad it's like dude it's it's a weekend yeah but like no we're, we're on top of it that's just that's just how we how we are is do you think that's sustainable though running the business for like that for for a long amount of time like for, always for myself, having to be on top of it for myself no for myself no but that's yeah. where like i bumped those boys up like i've hired new people Right. And uh, to and put them in a in a position to help, but it's like, you know, I had to like let a guy go and I'm like, well, we just, you know, an employee and I, we just kind of we separated out. But it's also like, if you're not putting that work in here, like, if you're not seeing this how special like Low Glow is, then like this isn't the job for you. Right. You know what I mean? So, um, even like liking somebody's post, like Low Glow, like we like someone's post, people freak out. Like, oh my yeah, god, they dope. liked, they liked us, they commented on it. You know, so it's like we want to make sure those people like have an amazing like first impression like yeah with us that we like recognize them and, and we appreciate their builds and like we have mad respect for all these like car content creators we know how like hard it is and how cool it is to, like build something unique yeah so we want to be like part of like everyone's build like right, right. lighting up the road one car at a time that's our slogan and Light we truly believe way. that how many people think you ha how many people do you think have your kit <laughs> that's talking in that number platform you know what I mean but that's the thing of like. I just, I, do you think I'm not saying the actual numbers, but like, what do you think? Well, we've been in business for two years. There, you know, there's definitely thousands, thousands, there's definitely thousands. Sheesh. You know what I mean? But it's like current. I don't know because some people like rock it and then they get new rewraps or new body kits. They take it off or whatever. You know what I mean? But, um, I don't know who have it currently, but like, you know, yeah, even yeah. driving around in Gatlinburg, there's still a lot of people. Yeah. That was like a big talking factor too. Like last year, every like 10th car had like low glow on it really it, it, it was everywhere we were like it almost brought like a tear to your eye of like the amount of support that we had it was amazing so like that was also a big talking factor like what to expect at low glow and it was one of the topics was low glow right or uh at gatlinburg was um one of the things to see at gatlinburg right it was low glow and i was like that's true like a lot of cars did have low glow last year how do you know it's your kit though oh it's <laughs> it's pretty easy for like at least for yeah? myself yeah there's like there's definitely a quality quality difference. just by looking at the car yep yeah how are like our um chasing modes are more defined 
um, to the coverage of it. You know what I mean? Like if there's there's like this much of a gap. Oh, like, uh, okay, okay. Like if it, yeah, there's like, if it's not edge to edge, then like it's not our kid. Because like we tell you. And if our kid's like, you know, if we mess up, if we give you the wrong lengths, like we'll make it right, 100%. Right. We'll make it right. So, I mean, like it's so hard when they're shorter. Yeah. Because like, well, you, when you told me the size, you didn't have a front lip. A right. front lip's going to, is more curvature. So, and they're like, okay, I understand that. So, like, we can do a strip exchange. You send that strip back, we'll send you the new one. Yeah. And we take care of them. That's taking care of your customer. But, yeah, it's pretty easy to see. Plus, like, <laughs> two years ago in, like, Gatlinburg, people got bullied for not running low glow. We have, like, a diehard community, man. Wow. There's, like, one video that went viral, and it's this guy, and his side strip, like, um, was like, this long. And he goes, that's boof glow. Like, if you don't have low glow, it's called boof glow. <laughs> it's boof glow. And uh, we kind of, we didn't want, we, like, we posted that video a while back, or I think Patty posted it. We took it off because we don't want to like, you know, we don't want to bully people. We want a positive right. thing onto it. Right. But um, that's just our, we didn't tell people to do that. They just did it. Like, yeah. get yourself some low glow. Your LEDs are bunk. I'll send you that video <laughs> like, if you want to check it out. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty hard to tell, you know, or it's pretty like easy to tell, like um, if it's our kid if or not. If it's your kid or not. Yeah. Plus we, rec- we recognize like, the the color patterns you know oh, okay right the right, color right, patterns right. are a big one too right like if it's like a red and purple like a certain like mode like has you guys have pure white yep um okay. we have rgb strips and that's something that i had to learn so it takes red green blue to make white right. so it's not going to be like the purest but i've i've looked into rgbw strips but yes. the thing about rgbw strips they're three times more expensive uh. and i'm thinking about I, like I wasn't really gonna talk on this, but I was thinking about coming out with like even a more higher end kit. Yeah. And with a completely new like that really expensive controllers and right. like, but like man, I would have to charge about like seven hundred, eight hundred dollars for that. You could like, do who, it though. Who would buy it? Like well, exactly. Right right now, our supercar scene is blown up. Yeah. There's a comp- there's a uh, page called My Exotics, mm-hmm. and they have it on uh, a Super Trofeo Lamborghini car- carbon fiber. That's what I'm saying yeah. And they those guys bought their kits. They are die hard. They went to us and said, this kit is so amazing. The product of it is so amazing. We want everyone in our group to buy it. And there's about, I think, 13, 14 people that now want it. They hit us up every day. Hey, they, there's a GT3 RS that wants your guys' kit. There's a Hur- another Huracan. There's an R8 that want it. What? And it's like, that just proves that if you take care of people, good customer service, a quality product, it'll sell itself, you know? 100%. I take care of those guys. You know, those guys are amazing. Like I, I, I just, uh, I haven't sent them that, but I got a special gift for them made of how much like loyalty I take care of loyalty. You know, it's no matter if it's working for me or supporters, right. Loyalty is huge. You know, how do you feel <laughs> about, uh, like rep wheels? Cause you guys have ESR on, you guys use <laughs> a lot of ESR stuff. So we love ESR. We love ESR. <laughs> I asked you this earlier, but like, you know, there's other podcast company, you know, Shalex, uh, shout out to Alex Martini, uh-huh. but he's always telling people about what's TE37 stand for? What does TE stand for? I'm going to Alex well, on his podcast. I'm going to ask him, what does ESR stand for? It stands for Eric's storage room. <laughs> and people might not believe that, but that's how that's, that's what it's called. And, uh, the owner of ESR went onto this big podcast and there's not that many views on this podcast, but the owner of ESR he is a giant mentor of mine. He, how I run Loglo today is because of like what he like helps me with. Like him and I like have a good relationship. He's a very smart man. When you have someone that runs six plus thriving businesses, has a family and still takes time out of their day to call me and check up on me and see how like business is running. I have mad respect for that. And that's somewhere I'm trying to be like, I'm trying to, I'm so absorbed in that business right now it's so hard for me to even have like a social life. It's hard, but I have mad respect for ESR. That's why we run it. Um, ESR has other brands called uh, Brada, um, MV Forge, MVX Off Road. Um, they had a other um, company called Label. Right. So it's um, what people don't know is ESR has like 15 CNC machines, and those CNC machines cost like more than 500 grand. Damn. There's 15 of them in there. And they're, I can't say it because it's LNDA, but ESR is making your favorite wheel companies wheels. 
Wow. 100%. With it not like besides like those major ones like like HRE, they're not you know HRE's doing their own thing, you know? right. but like the monoblocks like very popular wheel brands. People will surprise you. It's like, yeah, same like those ESRs are in this other company that's very well known. Yeah. They're making them with same material. You know, I think maybe a little bit different material. Like there's a lot of uh I don't want to like talk on that like I know that, but Yeah, yeah. um it may be the may, maybe the same material, I don't know. Um, but all I know is like ESR is evolving. Like you just go look at their media. Like they're from their content creation is insane. Like, but the owner of ESR hires these young kids. Yeah. They have, I think they have six media people in there. Crazy. They have three designers and their main designer, Ian, he went to me and was like, if you think of a wheel design, we can make it. I like, obviously I'll touch it up, blah, blah, blah. So he's right. like, and even the owner of ESR is like, Jordan, if you want to come out with your own wheel brand, I'll make your wheels for you. Cause I'm already making them for these other companies. What's, you know, it's not, it's not a competition to him. Like he's yeah, still yeah. getting paid like a lot to make these, to cut these wheels for, for these other companies. But, um, and it's, it's helpful for, to keep in that in the U S as well. When those, usually those companies, you have to get them done overseas. Right. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know, they're, and that's something people just don't know about. Yeah. And people might say like cap or like, I don't know what I'm talking about, but it's like, I'm close with the guys. Like, you know, we're going to SEMA with them. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Are you, you know, going to SEMA? Yeah. Going to SEMA with them. Um, they give us, you know, badges called wheel image. Uh, the, like all their brands combined is called wheel image. Corp. Yeah. And, um, yeah, they're, he's a super good dude. Their whole team is just amazing people. So I truly believe, you know, especially that stigma behind ESR, it's kind of that stigma behind like low glow or not low right. glow, but underglow. glow. As long as you're evolving and you're making quality product and you're trying to get out of that, then like, I have like respect for you. Yeah. You know I mean, no matter like, I don't say no matter the past, but like, you know, like WCIs, like that's a, that's a whole nother topic on that. Like, you know, the WCI story, right? No, I don't. Oh my God. I don't know why WCI is still a thing. Um, long story short, the owner of WCI like was, um, and there's screenshots on Google of, the, of his conversation. He dropped the like N word to, uh, to somebody on the DMS for liking his girlfriend's like photo or his wife's photo or something like that. What? And people, that's why like, there's such a big controversy with WCIs is because like he's you know racist. There's wow. Saying that, and so uh, <laughs> there's people that rock their wheels but take out the center caps. Damn. Yeah, you know, it's like for me, but and they're still in business, and he's the same guy still running it. Yeah, yeah. So that's a lot of people don't know about. Like that's like before my time too. Right. You know, but that's uh, that's still that stigma behind WCIs. Um, Damn. I don't crazy. know much about Vossens. Um, like another like unlike another wheel companies like Vossen don't know much on them you know I mean I, I remember seeing like I remember seeing Vossen wheels on Alibaba <laughs> <laughs> but it's also like people you know people will screenshot our kids and put them on Alibaba right and I have to mention like no bro like that's copyrighted photo so it's like I don't know what to believe on the internet anymore yeah I don't know what to believe but no, like yeah, I've had I've had friends rock like Vossen's too and um you know, the power coating wasn't the best. It chipped off. So it's like, but that was four or five years ago. So I don't know how I haven't kept up with Boston. I got so much of things on my plate to worry about then like kind of how, I, I think that's a lot of people like that. And then how, how, what a wheel company's like, Yeah. you know, but like one thing for sure, ESR is like going to the top and a lot of people are starting to like recognize that like their wheels are very high quality, especially their two piece, three piece wheels. And, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, they are amazing wheels. Like we got carbon fiber. There's so many different carbon fiber options. Like, this is like a silver white carbon fiber on Patty's wheels. And I have a, a reflex silver carbon fiber on my Z. I got normal carbon fiber. Patty has 24 karat gold looking carbon fiber on his FRS, like hexagon carbon fiber. So the, the ESR guys brought a, they take yeah. care of us and like, we're, we're die hard for them. You know, just it's that respect towards, towards companies. Right. And, and you know, personal level too. Right, right. No, ESR is good. I, I think they're they're they came a long way. I you know, say that. You know, companies uh, have hit me up to like rock their wheels for SEMA. Yeah, deny them. free sets, whatever I want, I deny them. Deny. Sorry, dude. I like I still pay. I don't. I still pay for ESRs. I don't get ESRs for free. Really? I don't get ESRs for free. So you're not sponsored. By them. Um, I get discounts. You know what I mean? Like real heavily discounted, but, um. You know. <laughs> it's it's kind of like that thing too is like people uh we want to support one another right kind of thing you know what i'm saying 
So I don't feel like I post ESR like brought a, like enough for me to even like say I get to get free wheels. I don't feel yeah. like I earn that. You know what I mean? So for me to, you know, I still take care of those guys. Right. They take care of us, you know, you know, got to support the homies like through here. Like we'll go out um, and go to booths and we'll go to each one booth and buy something at, at each person's booth. Take care of them. You know, got to support everybody around here. No, 100%. Cause then Even gotta, if it's just like a jet tag, something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go support these, these small companies trying to make it because, like, they are working their asses off, you know? And you can easily tell the ones that are doing it for the money and the people that are doing it for the passion and for the car community. So. No, but, I agree with you. 100%. Yeah. So that's the thing on wheels. It's just, like, be with a company that is evolving and learn. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, a lot of people run, like, works and you know those are good wheels but like we like controversy man you set up with some esrs our whole builds are controversy underglow yeah uh airlift um wide body like those are just those are content cars they're not content internet cars, cars. Internet, they're not internet builds they're just content cars yeah. esr with the esrs yeah you, you, the amount of pages of forums that we get posted on and people are just fighting man no, ESR is a good company. You're out of your mind. You yeah, know, yeah. You know, they, they, no, they've really grown up. And it's not us like fighting. It's other people. Right. So, and, and there's some people where, you know, we we make ESR, ESRs look good as well. Of like, yeah, this is the potential ESR has with your build. Right. We're walking crazy, crazy, um, crazy specs, crazy designs, crazy carbon fiber. And like, these are beautiful wheels. And no, like, they they've nice held wheels, up yeah. and they are, they're doing their job. What's wrong with that? Yeah, these are definitely uh, different. How do you take those apart? <laughs> do you uh, they're reverse. Oh, they're reverse. Ver yep, okay. Hidden hardware. Yeah, it's crazy. Wow. How do you like your uh, How do you like your Supra? Um, I'm not liking it right now because it's on it's on, <laughs> it's on a jack. It's a great car though. I do I do like it. Um, I do like it better than uh, the Nissan. Uh, I'm just more into like performance. Yeah, you know? man. We got the we got the Z's. The Z's are just not exciting. Yeah, They're Supra is exciting. exciting. Supra is an exciting car. You know, I la I laugh my I laugh my ass off to these like influencers out there that, you know, Nissan sends them a Z. Yeah. And they're like, these are the most comfortable seats. Bro, the Nissan seats trash. You hit the headrest, the prongs hit your back. Really? Horrible. Horrible. You know, there the, you know, there's nothing really exciting. I'm probably not be working with Nissan after this, but like <laughs> I don't work with them anyways. I got my own business. Yeah. But like it's not exciting. There's not loud. It, the sh the steering's too loose. The throttle's like too is too soft. The braking's too. It's not balanced right. Yeah. I have way more fun in my BRZ. That's, that's the less the ho like le right, less right. horsepower. Yeah. We have way more fun. Way more balanced. That's how. So I, I've I've uh, had a couple of S2000s. Yeah. Um, and that car was really exciting. Didn't make much power, but it's the same thing as like a FRS BRZ. Yeah. Um, you can hit corners in that car. Yeah, so fun. Well balanced. So fun. Um, and exciting. But you can also build it if you want. It's got the it's got the uh the internals to be able to. Yeah, do that. it's great. Those are great cars. I really slept on S two thousands because it's a Honda. <laughs> Back in the day when I was growing up, I was like, it's a Honda. But like looking now, it's like wow, like those Type R's are no joke. You know those yeah. uh, S two thousand are no joke. I'll see about like maybe even get myself an S two thousand just to have some fun with it. You should. I want to. I want to see what you would do with an S two thousand. That's the thing is I want to get more in the drifting scene. I got my two forty. I okay. really kept that thing on the low key because I uh, I've been slowly building it, but it has an RB twenty five into it. it has five hundred horsepower. Um, in Ohio, nobody wanted to work on Japanese cars, especially two forties. No one wanted to fabricate things. Damn. So we moved uh, to Arizona. And uh, with the business, got a larger warehouse. Yeah. And, and we're actually coming out, I think, with a couple more companies um, to tag on with Low Glow. I mean, I can't talk too much on that. Yeah, yeah. But that's, um, we have more plans uh, than just Low Glow, which is going to be crazy. That's dope. Um, so the larger warehouse will help with that. But I want to get more in the drifting scene of side of things. Um, so maybe like a 370, kind of do what like TJ did. You know, he, he, you know, you got to learn off of others. Right. He's like, yeah, just throw an angle kit, like hydro and have fun dude you know do some downpipe tunes whatever yeah so um i think like my end goal is to like just be really good and, like it just really got drifting and learning it's like that thing is like i always want to learn right you know? especially take the boys out have them learn get a sim racing setup stuff like that we always want to have fun we work so hard like we yeah you gotta I put, enjoy yourself i put these boys like through the work um just being on our phones and it's so hard too of like being on the low glow page answering dms like i suck at answering my own dms oh i'm um, same way same way horrible dude yeah
yeah, it's uh like it's triple amount of people, but you know, it's I can't forget them because like they're the you know those people on my personal side are also the main reason like why I'm here, you know. Right. So it's a uh, it's a fun thing. So what's your, what's your plan for the next uh, few years with this, with this company? Where do you see yourself in the next five years? I really want to, um, come out with, uh, like basically like a whole new, like underglow set. Really? Basically like keep improving. I've been working on these new strip designs where they're, they're crazy strong. The biggest thing is like when you tap man. when you, from our generation five, you barely hit it. It went out. Now it's like, you can kind of put like a little bit of pressure, but like at the end of the day, like you're going to crush a strip underneath your car and you hit it hard enough you're crushing the inside of that board and just ruining all the soldering so even if it's like a like a quick yeah it's that pressure and that blunt force hitting it shocks it so um there's this new strip that i found and where you hit it hard it still works but it just spider cracks that's the thing too it's like our strips now you barely hit it it it's so strong there's no mark so it looks like it doesn't you you didn't even barely hit it Mm. and it's like Okay, I, I understand that, but like no, like right. If look, you zoom into it and you can see the the PCB board just just crushed. Yeah, you no, know you heard it, man. Like it's just that silicone was so strong that we did. So I don't know if it's gonna be beneficial or not to actually have it like shown because it's gonna be the silicone's gonna be cracked and mess messed up. But at least you're gonna be noticed that like you hit something. Right, <laughs> so right, it's right, like, right, right, right. but how is that gonna affect? So we're doing a lot of R and D like testing. That's like that's huge. We're always testing. We're not just sitting back in our chairs doing nothing. We're always testing. Right. So new design, new PCB board design. Um, you know, see what our flaws are now, um, and, and how little they are, and still try to make it as most durable kit possible. But um, I think with this other company, we don't do sponsorships with Low Glow. Mm-hmm. That's like a big thing. We don't do sponsorships. We don't give away our kits. We don't discount our kits. The The value of a kit is uh, just getting it, you know? Right. Um, we've had drops sell out in five minutes. We had drops sell out in 15 minutes. We had drops sell out in 45 minutes. You know, usually within the hour, like, they'll sell out. Yeah. I think one time our fastest one was, like, five minutes. Wow. And we had death threats on that one. People are pissed. Just scolding us. This is back, like, this is last year. Wow. And, um and it's hard to do that to like walk away from like the money yeah, kind yeah. Of thing. But like, that's just where our values are at, where taking care of people and, and customer service is, is prioritizes over the money. Yeah. And people might not believe us because of how rare that sounds and how like idiotic that sounds. But it's like, that's just who we are, man. Who we are. We, we see more long-term, right. You know, underglow is a fad. Underglow is a trend. If you just explode it onto the market, and everybody has it, then that ruins your long-term chances. Right, like we right. want to be here and we want to continue like doing charity events. We still want to be helping the community. So with having this other company that we're in the works with, it's something where sponsorships might be on the table. Mm. So a lot of people might get a little excited on that. That's so, dope. And it's also like, it's we're making it very clear. You're working, it's a logo sister company. So it's kind of like sponsored by this company. You're kind of sponsored by Low Glow. Right, right. So it's going to be fun. That's dope. I don't think a lot of people are going to expect it, but um, it's something we want to give back to the, to the community on as well. Something that everybody everybody uses too. It's crazy. A lot That's of fun. exciting. Yeah, made in the U.S. too, which is great. Um, very fantastic. I'm proud to say that. And we're working towards, uh, you know, things like that. Fire. It's great. And uh, – my like super end goal would be kind of have like an LZ compound. That's yeah. yeah. But, but it's, uh, in my eyes, it's not, um, it's not gonna be that extreme. A couple, a uh, couple, uh, acres of land. And, um, I wanted to build like my own skid pad and like kind of like little drift course of things. Yeah. Make it kind of, I don't know how far out I'm gonna have to be for like city ordinances, but that's like a super big goal and like drift at night and, uh, just get everybody over. And like build like several warehouses and whatnot, but that's like that's like a five year goal. Like by the time I'm thirty, like I'm twenty five now. Like I just want to still be in part of that car community. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, they're in the car community for the hobby, and then like you know I have friends that you know I've known. I'm like I wish they were still in it, you know. Right. But they have a life, they have kids and whatnot. But I want to still like keep the car community growing. That's where my heart's at. You know, it's because the people that I surround myself with push me to be better in the car community and there's there needs there's more people coming up in the car community that are have that same like motivation it's just how long is that going to stay motivating factor right. before like the comments get to them before like the drama you know like 
so much dramas out there, you know, from all over yeah, the world. The, yeah, it's, yeah, especially in the car scene. Honestly, it's a lot of drama. Yeah, a lot of drama, a lot of it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I I don't I don't want to like cut this short. No, man. But um, it's dark outside. Yeah, it's dark. And also, I have to put my wheels together, or else I yep. won't be able to. <laughs> so, um, I do appreciate you coming down. Yeah, Tukes. Yeah, um, pound it. That's the first time I heard to say my name. <laughs> Tukes. Yeah. Yeah. People don't really very, say my name when I first meet very, them. Very, very interesting name. It's my last name. Tukes is gangster. Yeah. Tukes is gangster. <laughs> yeah, it's my last name. It's cool. It's, it's, it's a really football. cool name. Like that's what I yeah. meant. Like it's a really cool name. It's from football, so you know, like yeah, you know, go by last name. That's good. But man, like I just truly want to appreciate you again, your time. You know, we had to do it over again, but like this is awesome. We had so much fun here. Like your setup is amazing. And if you guys are not like subscribed or following to uh to the podcast, man, like you guys gotta get on this. This is a beautiful podcast. Really, really appreciate amazing that. people, you know, great energy, and I'm I'm blessed to be here. Thank you. Thank you so much, yeah, man. You're very I really, really appreciate that. Um, and if you guys are watching, um, it did get dark. Uh, we went a little over because <laughs> we had to refilm it. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's a bit different. We have one light up here. Um, but we did catch a sunset, I'm hoping. So, tell the viewers where to find you. Man, uh, loglo.shop is the best way to get a hold of us for the fastest response ever. Because <laughs> <laughs> we got four people, three people on that one. Yeah. Um, but for my personal IG, three cities.brz. Make sure to follow Patrick uh, at, at FRS Patty. Mm -hmm. um, follow at FRS Aaron, um, 740.Drew. Um, Alex King, he does my emails. Shout out to him. Like, he's a gangster, bro. He used to work at Fem Industries. Gangster dude, man. Wow. His, his professionalism is uh, unreal, and I'm so blessed to have him. So, but uh, yeah, shout out to those guys. Um, make sure to subscribe here, like I said. And uh, yeah. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it. Really appreciate your time, bro. Yeah, it's great. Um, are you going to be tomorrow at the, the event? Bro, we're going to be everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to be everywhere, taking care of people. So many people need replacement strips. It's crazy, but oh, wow. we got to get these streets lighting up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. If you guys are here, if you guys uh, you know we're at Gatlinburg, be safe out here. Uh, the Gatlinburg curse is real, you know, it, it, from it bent, definitely is. bent wheels to... To um, films and uh, yeah just whatever else is yeah, going just on be safe have <laughs> yeah. fun gallenberg's amazing place no no nonsense let's keep it an amazing place you yeah. know cops are pretty chill depending on like if you're being chill so um yeah this is like an amazing platform an amazing place and uh shout out to slammed enough for putting us on and uh we wish like we were boothing here because like if you're boothing here like there's tons of people and you can sell out merch very quick yeah yeah sunday shows where it's at and um this is one of the shows to be at if you build your car and you make it into gatlinburg into the indoor show you, you're someone yeah you made it yeah yeah you make it to the sunday show like you're crazy so <laughs> i think that's a motivating factor just for just for like new car influencers and car people yeah strive not for sema strive for gatlinburg gatlinburg is where it's at that's well said well said i haven't been to sema but uh yeah, I'm, I'm really curious to see. I'll how try and get you well. a pass. <laughs> I'll try. And I, I have, I have a. I think they're letting our spectators in okay. for the first year this year. Okay. But um, I just it's it's a it's a week event and it's yeah, expensive. It's long. It's long. Yeah. Yeah. Very. Expensive. So maybe next year. Maybe next year. Because this That'd trip be has been traumatic. <laughs> so we'll we'll get there. With that being said, if I could speak English today, um, make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe if you guys are listening on all streaming platforms. Keep listening, guys please leave a review if you can on all streaming platforms that helps us get uh, higher up in the ranks and if you guys are watching on youtube which you guys probably are i'm in the live chat with you right now please hit that like button most of you guys are watching but you guys never hit the like button until after the video which is fine but like initially like. you gotta hit that like button drop a comment show some love and be on the lookout for some merch too pretty soon um but with that being said guys love you guys be safe thank you guys for watching catch you guys on the next one peace peace